Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> um, I laugh because I've been gone for so long. I'm so sorry, guys. I really am. Um, but real quick, let's do this really quick, super duper easy DIY. Um, my daughter wants to do for the summer um, seashells. What is it called? Um, um, is it coastal? Is it like a, it's like coastal living? So we're gonna work with um, seashells coastal. and nautical. nautical. There we go. Can't come up with the word. <laughs> anyway, I'm still having my cup of coffee, guys. <clears throat> and um, so that's what we're gonna do today. I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but it's gonna be super easy. I can show you exactly what I'm gonna work with. So I found these at the Dollar Tree. Everything that I got is from the Dollar Tree. There's nothing that I didn't get from there. And of course, it's no longer a dollar, it's a dollar twenty-five, but I got two of these, okay? I got two of the sand. I left the tag so like that it'll be easy to know what you're looking for and then i got the nautical rope and they have this one and they have the darker color um i like both i have both of them i stocked up um i believe it was last year i stuck up on these because <clears throat> they sell pretty quickly and then i got the mesh ribbon which i think is pretty cool so i got this one and then i got in this color so i'm gonna mix it both i'm gonna put both of them together that i know for sure and I got some pebbles, gem glass, whatever you want to call it. So I got two of these. And of course, seashells. I was hoping that there would be a little bit more color. And, um, but, you know, get a little bit more different designs, but they were the same. But that's okay, right? We'll go over what we got. Um, like I said, I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do this, but it's super, super easy and super quick. So I'm gonna start off with this. I was This was an extra piece that I had, so I'm gonna see if I could work with it because I kind of want to put it in the bottom, but then I'm not too sure. So I'm gonna leave that for last just to see how it goes. But <clears throat> for now, we are going to work with this because once I put, put the sand in, I don't want it to be always moving around. So we're gonna work with this right now. So we're gonna put it together. And um, we're just gonna put it right here because we're gonna put the seashell. So it's okay if you, you know, cut it a little bit longer than normal. Okay. And then, so we're gonna do so be a little bit easier. We're gonna measure it. That way you don't cut too much. All right. So yeah, guys, I am so sorry. I've been gone for so long. I think I've been gone for what, almost a year, a little over a year. Um, you know, a lot has happened. <laughs> you know, and I do apologize for that. You know, it's things got really hectic, but you know, I'm gonna try to upload videos and things like that. <clears throat> now that I have time, but you know, I didn't have time before. It was, it was really difficult. Um, but I will say that, although the tiny house, I don't know if you guys who have seen my beginning videos, even though I don't have that many, but who's seen my videos, I was, um, we were gonna build a tiny house. You know, and at that time my brother was gonna build it. You know, and it didn't work out, Only we got as far as the platform, <laughs> you know? But um, yeah, it, that didn't work out. It didn't work out at all. I'm gonna put it on the glass. I'm gonna get up a little bit. I don't want it to crack on me. Um, so that didn't work out at all. And uh, and you know what? And, and you know, at that time, I didn't see things. You know, I was seeing things differently. You know, because I really wanted a tiny house. But I'll be honest with you. Like right now, um, I live with my daughter. Um, she bought a house, and everything worked out you know, for the best. And I'm really, really happy. You know. Even though I didn't get my tiny house, she kind of, you know, let me have sort of control on how to decorate and, you know, and of course I still ask for her opinion and things like that, but she's like, you know what? The first floor is all yours. <laughs> the second floor is mine. <laughs> and I love it because I have control of what I want and what I don't want. But like I said, I still ask her because, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we're family. And, um, but I love it, you know, and so the tiny house didn't work out. Um, uh, we laughed, um, things, you know, God worked in mysterious ways and he opened doors, you know, and I couldn't say no, none of us could. So, 
you know, we left and um, we're happy. You know, it's very peaceful. And um, yeah, we love it. I think the, the one that makes the most noise over here is the animals, but we're blessed to have him as well. So as you can see, I'm gluing it. It's gonna get covered with the, um, the shelves. So obviously, cause you wanna use that part to take a cover. Put a little bit more glue there. I wanna make sure it stays down. Remember guys, glue is not permanent. If you want something that you're gonna last you for years, then I will use the E6000, I believe it's called. I will use that if you want to last you for a long, long time. But these are projects that can last you a long time if you don't mess with it, but it will come off eventually, or you can actually rip it out if you want to use it for something else. So that's the reason why I do that, because sometimes, you know, you get tired and you like, you want a different design and you want to use what you have. You don't want to always buy, you know, because let me tell you that dollar twenty-five adds up when you have more than 10 items, you know, so I kind of miss everything being a dollar. You know, people's like, oh, it's just 25 cents, but it adds up. It adds up very, very fast. Oh, wow. Look how cute already, <laughs> you know. But, yeah, so, but everything's been good. We've been, you know, enjoying the home, the new house. Um, enjoying the new neighborhood. Everything is just so different, and we seem to be pretty happy here, so. But like I said, I'm back <laughs> and I want to thank the new subscribers that have subscribed to me, to my channel, even when I was gone. It's amazing. You know, I got, you know, the emails from the person that subscribed to me and I just want to say thank you, you know, because you saw something in there that you liked and you subscribed because that's how I am when I watch somebody and it was like, wow, okay, I love that, you know, so I want to come back and, um, and do videos and content. Um, I even thought about, you know, even doing DIYs and mixing it up with cleaning. Because sometimes, you know, I need motivation to clean. You know? I need motivation to do things, you know? I don't always wake up with energy. You know? And what you see in the video is sometimes it's not real. You know? Because we're human. We get tired. I don't know. I would like to mix it up. Just, you know, at least DIYs. Maybe cooking. I don't know. Maybe, um cleaning it could be anything i just want to be able to always be here you know and not leave and like i said i didn't leave because i couldn't do videos it was it was just a very stressful situation that i just couldn't concentrate and i had to concentrate on the lord you know because you know it was it was tough you know but the like god has given me the peace that i need especially with everything that's been going on mm -hmm. So we're just gonna glue it randomly. There is no right way, no wrong way. Um, like I said, I probably should have glued it right there. Let me see. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I still use my phone to record. Yeah. One day, I'll put a, afford to get that camera. <laughs> but how are you guys doing? How's your day going over here? It's raining cloudy oh man but yes it was about 72 degrees it was so beautiful to have that feeling of spring and summer it's like oh because you know we had such a tough winter and um and i'm i'm a person i love daylight saving time i love daylight like if i can have it all year round i will be happy camper which they say that they might do we'll see how that goes yeah, pass it. But yeah, guys, we are in Massachusetts, you know, it's, I call it bipolar because the weather always changes and yeah, always changes. So yeah, let me see, I'm gonna glue this here. I'm trying to, to put as much as I can and then what we're gonna do is, after you do that, we're gonna try to layer on top. Um, not sure if I should go around or not. I'm gonna see how it goes, you know? That's how I do my DIY. Sometimes I'm not even too sure. I just go with the flow. I may know maybe one or two things. I'll be like, okay, I think this might look cute. But then again, I don't know. You know? So you want to hold it for a little bit. Make sure it glues down. But, but anyway, that's enough talk, guys. So I'm going to let you watch the video. And uh, I'll see you in a bit.
all right guys so this is the final result <laughs> the reason why i'm laughing because i said i was gonna do something really simple but it's a little um me <laughs> i love it so um can you believe this came out of dollar tree um so as you can see is what i did here is i kind of made it look rustic that's why i was i was looking for something rustic not so perfect um and i just put the stones as you can see in the video and i'm just going to show you all the way around how it came out okay i think it came out really pretty i'm very happy with the results and then this one here as you can see it's almost like you know it just fell there nothing is perfect as you know when it comes to the sea and um, that's the back and uh but i really hope you guys enjoy it it was actually pretty simple to make it's just a lot of twisting as you saw in the video nothing perfect you'll be like okay twist glue twist glue you know um but i really <clears throat> hope you guys like it and uh Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, it will help me out a lot. I'm gonna try to do more videos as I can, but uh, I'll catch you in the next one. And don't forget thumbs like. <laughs> Bye.